Uh, Coach, thanks so much for joining us on the call today. If you could just uh, give us an update of how your uh, um, open week went as you prepare for Thursday's game up, uh, at USF. Yeah, we had a good open week. I mean, a little bit different, uh, being that we're playing on a on a Thursday. So, you know, not not a true uh, open week from the standpoint of getting that that full weekend to kind of get back to try to get healthy to get fundamentals and kind of go over those things. Uh, we started on South Florida actually last week just because of, of the way the schedule falls. So, uh, excited about the opportunity. Uh, Charlie's done a great job down there, and and probably the most talented team I would say in our conference from an athletic standpoint. Uh, you know, with with Quentin running the show back there, uh, you know he creates a lot of problems. He's got a lot of weapons around him. Uh, they're executing at a really high level, and then defensively, they're just. Uh, well, they really get after it. I mean, Sanchez is four-year starter, a uh, guy that has played a ton of snaps, and their defense is kind of consistently that way all the way through. So we know we got our hands full, but excited about the opportunity to go down and, and, and play on Thursday. We'll take questions for Coach Montgomery. Please star one on your telephone keypad. We'll put you in the queue. Then the operator will introduce you. Derek Sharp, USF Radio. Coach, the thing that's going to stand out down here is that you guys uh, beat Houston, of course, the only team that USS lost to. What clicked, uh, especially in the second half of that game? I know it's been a few weeks, though. Yeah, that's it's been a little bit. You know, uh, I thought we played really well defensively that day. You got a couple of turnovers, which really helped. Uh, uh, we were able to move the ball the second half and do what we wanted to do. And, and uh, you know, obviously Houston's a good football team. You know, it's just one of those days that, that uh, we took advantage of the opportunities and we played consistent for 60 minutes. Uh, we've struggled doing that uh, throughout the year, and so uh, hopefully this this week uh, we'll get back on target with that. You know, we've got a lot of young players that are learning, and and with that become, you know, consistency becomes a, becomes a factor. And so hopefully uh, this week we'll we'll find the right connection between all that. And one other thing, outside of looking at USF film, was there a general area of your team that you kind of concentrated on during the, the little bit of extra time? Yeah, I mean, we we just went back to, again, we've got a lot of young guys playing. So just kind of going back to your fundamentals and making sure that those guys, uh, as you get in the course of the season, you got to throw those those guys in. Sometimes you just got to schematically, this is what we're doing this week. and and uh, try to teach them from that point. We we did have an, a day in there where we could really just focus on what we were trying to do offensively and defensively uh, to try to get those guys a little bit more honed in uh, on the little things that make such a big difference in games. Thank you very much, Coach. Mm-hmm. Joey Knight, Tampa Bay Times. Coach, what have you seen out of Luke Skipper since he became your starting quarterback? Well, he's growing every week. You know, he, he's he's had some good halves. I thought the uh, first half of the SMU game and the first half of our Memphis game, I thought he played uh, the way I'd like him to play. I'd like him to be more consistent in the second half and come out and operate at that same high level. Uh, but he's growing. You know, obviously he's he's going to make plays, but he's going to make mistakes, and we've got to be able to overcome those. And as long as he continues that upward trend, uh, I think he's got a bright future. And it's funny that you mentioned uh, Sanchez. He's four tackles away from becoming USF's all-time tackles leader. When you watch him on tape, just what do you see? He's a guy that doesn't make mistakes. You know, he's seen everything. Um, you know, he's been in a lot of wars and, and uh, understands how guys are trying to schematically do some things. And so, uh, you know, he doesn't overrun stuff. He fits things very well. He does a good job in, in their, their blitz package things. And so uh, he's just a guy that – that's got so much experience underneath his belt. He, he knows where to get himself in position to make plays. And, you know, with that being said, obviously that line in front of him is, is pretty dang good. And so uh, they're keeping him free and letting him run and make tackles and letting him trigger on things. And, and that always uh, goes hand in hand uh, when you start talking about your linebacker play. Thanks, Coach. Mm-hmm. Dan Tortora, wakeupcalldt.com. Good morning, Coach. How are you? I'm good, Dan. How are you? Good. To uh, to look at, I know you said having to play some young guys this season, the wide receiver core, just what you've been able to take away, having a bunch of underclassmen back there for you, just, just what you've seen from that unit as you know that you're going to have some more time with a bunch of these guys moving forward. 
Yeah, they're growing. You know, uh, we we've seen a lot of different looks defensively, and so they've they've had to kind of look and learn on on the fly, and so. Uh, you're putting them in situations where they got to go win and, and got to make plays, and and uh, you know when they have opportunities to catch the football, they got to make those plays. We got to come up with those 50-50 balls. We haven't done a great job of that this year. We not consistent, consistently at least, and so uh, those guys are growing, but they're young, and and uh, we've got some really talented secondaries in, in this conference, and so uh, I think our future will be bright with those guys. They just got to continue to keep getting better. And then as far as in the backfield with senior D'Angelo Brewer, just what you've taken away from him this season and kind of his, you know, the time that you've spent with him in his career in college at this point. Yeah, he's grown so much since we got here day one, you know, uh, really as a, he's a football junkie guy. I mean, he comes in, he studies, he, he knows exactly what's happening in front of him. He does a good job of setting up blocks and using his offensive line. Um, does a great job with his vision and knowing when, I need to bounce some things when I need to stay up in here and just go get what's there. And so uh, his his uh, steadiness for us has been unbelievable, and, and uh, he's been one of those seniors that we've had to lean on quite a bit, especially as this season has gone. And so he's been solid all the way through it and been such a, a, a positive impact on our football team. Thanks, Coach. I appreciate it. Thanks, Dan. Any other questions for Coach Montgomery, please? Star one on your telephone keypad, if so. Well, Coach, we appreciate your time as always. Look forward to talking to you again next Monday. All right, thank you.